the memorial, the statue. And it's on the uh, premises of the memorial park. I messed that up. <laughs> Guys, this is the River Luffy. Okay, so it's 75 euro for the cliffs of Moor. Um, and so it's a full day tour, I think. And the bus leaves at 6.15 in the morning. So all right, I've taken the uh, brochure. I'm just gonna read through it and see if uh, it's something that I wanna do maybe tomorrow. Wow, guys, these, these seagulls, they are massive. They are gigantic, wow. <laughs> Goodness, what do they feed these things, man? All right, so as I was saying, I want to just check out this brochure and I want to decide if I want to do that tomorrow or maybe any other day. Because it is on the other side of the island and it is a full day tour as I mentioned. So it's actually the Cliffs of Moor. I'm not sure I had that uh, pronunciation right earlier on. Oh guys, this is the uh, museum. Okay, grandmothers against racism. I'm going to visit a very famous landmark in Dublin and that's the Oscar Wilde it's crazy. That's the Oscar Wilde statue. Let's just make our way there. Hope I don't get lost. It's on a memorial site. Um, so just checking out Google Maps and it shows like 15 minutes. So let's do this. Guys, you notice the street names? All right, it says Mark Street, right? But the, uh, the language above, that's the official Irish language. So the official language is the Irish language and then English is the second language. I see it. I need to find the entrance. Let's check it out. Ah, it's right here. All right, it shows the giant gardens on that side. Let's do the thing.
Wow, guys, this is so beautiful. The giant gardens. Reminds me a bit of Central Park in New York. Wow, it's so peaceful. This must be so amazing in summer. But then again, I don't know what summer is like in Dublin. But this looks amazing. So this is the Marion Square Park. Marion Square Park. And that's where we saw the sculpture of Oscar Wilde. Alright guys. I'm gonna make my way back to uh, close to Temple Bar and then I wanna show you Clarence the Clarence Hotel. So the Clarence Hotel is partially owned by Bono and the Edge of U2. So there's a story behind that ownership. In fact, they, they own, I think, 50 or 51%. I'm not 100% sure on the percentage. But the story behind that is that when they were much younger and they were playing in a band, they wanted to go to this uh, to the bar that's attached to the hotel and I think the barman put them out for some reason I'm not sure if it was because they were too young or if they were too rowdy I, I can't exactly remember the story but they then decided and they actually told the barman that one day we will own this hotel and true to their word, many years later, I think obviously after their success with U2, they went and bought that hotel, or partially bought that hotel. How awesome is this place, guys? Just look at the vibe in this place, man. As per usual guys, I have no clue where I am. I'm kind of just following Google Maps on my way to the Clarence Hotel. So tonight guys, I'm doing the pub crawling tour. It's 14 euro and I think it includes some uh, shots at the bars as well. Of course you have access to the bars and uh, I think they give you some beginners as well. So that's the Clarence Hotel and it's partially owned by Bono and the Edge. Oh, it's the shape of a ship or well, a boat. I think this must have been a Viking boat. That is so cool. Wow. Up ahead is the Handel's Hotel. Right guys, do you know who that is? So I don't know if you are familiar with the song Handel's Messiah. So this is person that composed that song. 
George Frederick Handel. The first performance of the Messiah took place in the music hall Fishamble Street on 13th April 1742. Wow. Right guys, some history right here. Getting a fresh smell of cannabis as well. I think that adds to the atmosphere and the vibe. Euros. And I'm going to the cliffs of Moher. Man, you know what? I can't get this right. Everybody pronounces it differently. So this guy was just telling me now that it's the cliffs of Moher. And somebody else was saying to me the cliffs of Moher. So you get the message. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but I'm going there tomorrow. <laughs> So I have to leave early morning, I have to be at the uh, pickup point at 6.40 in the morning and that will be a full day tour so I'll be back tomorrow at maybe 8 o'clock back in Dublin. I'm quite excited about that so I'm going to see some uh, lovely sights tomorrow. I think part of the tour as well is the, uh, well obviously it's the Cliffs of Moor and then it's the Doolan village the Baron, Galway City and I don't know what else but we'll check it out tomorrow of course I'll bring it all to you from Dublin <laughs> 